Welcome plungers. Thanks for tapping in. Um, this is going to be a new series. Let me just get this out here right now. And this evening, I'll, I'll have a video for you reviewing the Trans Am and the new Evo. But for now, I'm going to start this series. This is going to be the best of series. And right now is the best of buggies. We're going to go by car type. And in my humble opinion, the absolute best car of this class and this type, well, not class because I would upgrade them all, but the best car out of all of these cars is this one right here. The Volkswagen Baja Beetle class five over 1600 scumbug from 1973. Let's get into it. First of all, I'm added to favorites. Everything goes into favorites. I know it's 300,000 credits with upgrades. It's probably a little bit more to tell you the honest truth, but I'm going to show you why right now it's the absolute best. Uh, we'll go to Titan because that's where we, that's the testing grounds. And there's a little story for you while we do this Titan. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. So growing up in Brooklyn, we didn't have access to off roads and vast country and hills and mountains and countrysides. And we didn't have that. We had buildings and streets. However, where I grew up, there were some dirt trails that we used to take um, quads and dirt bikes um, in the back by Old Mill Basin, bordering on Georgetown, right there, that little area right there. If you're familiar with Brooklyn, you know. If not, then I can't help. But yeah, back in the days, there were dirt trails and there was kind of a swamp adjacent to it. Well, I say that to say this, is that I, I might have had a taste of it in, in some form. Because when I, I started playing this game, I honestly thought I would be a racer, street type of dude. Because in Brooklyn, we did have that. We had dudes race doing street races. A lot, a lot in Queens, where they would have a highway run from uh, from the end of Flatlands Avenue as it as it goes on to the to the highway. They would take the highway up there and they would race back. And they also used to have drag races back there. It's like the edge of Canarsie, East New York, by the water, where now is Gateway shopping center back there they used to have uh strips and roads and it served uh, a a more industrial area and dudes used to race cars back there drag race and that's the first time that i ever saw a honda crx smoke a lamborghini okay it was i think it was Countach or something like that back then this is the 90s man so it was a uh a, a 1990 honda crx hatchback tuned to maybe 600 horsepower I'm telling you when i say this thing smoked that lamborghini it smoked it like it wasn't even a question but i mean by today's standards forget about it you know a tesla will will run that race three times faster you know, it'll go down, come back, turn around and go back down faster <laughs> than either of those cars could probably do it today. That's when zero to 60 in under five seconds was impressive. Yeah, so we didn't have this. So when I started playing the game, as you play through the game, you level up and you got to go through the races. I fell in love with the cross country portion of the game. And this became my grind for the most part. This became my grind. Now I got to. Did I miss it? I missed it. I'm rewinding. I'm rewinding. I don't care. I don't care. I'm running my mouth. You got to give me a pass. Just give me this one pass, please. Right? Thank you. Thank you. I'm just running my mouth. Concentration was not activated. <laughs> but I, I started doing these races and this race in particular became my grind. I did this race over and over and over and over again, which is probably not evident from that little mishap just now, but 
I definitely have tuning these cars down to a science, I think, at this point. I'm fully, fully confident in my ability to tune an off-road vehicle in this game. And I will include the share code for this one in the description, but yeah. And I see like in the groups, nobody talks about off-roading much. There was uh, a gentleman that started making some uh, off-road courses. Yeah, there's a few, but it's not, it's not as, prevalent as I had expected it to be because this is really an awesome feature this like this is great man this is given dirt to like it gives you the variety you're lacking in other games uh oh I gotta catch him now ah playing catch up with first place is dangerous it's very dangerous playing catch up in this. Yeah, because once he starts getting going, that's it. There's not much you can do. Just don't let him, just do not let him get too far off of your screen. Because once that happens, that's it. it it's over. It's over if he gets too far off of your screen. So you gotta, you gotta bullet the way through. But maybe this is the true test of this car right here. I'm talking trash, but you know, let's see what we got. Got a nice wheelie. Oh, he's off to the races. I'm still confident in this car. Still confident. Catch up in this. But this race in particular is insane. It's like you have to get close to them. If not, it's off to the races. They will smoke you real bad. And once I saw how far ahead he was of the rest of the pack, I knew, yeah, this one of them, this is one of them times. But once you get close to them, they don't they don't seem to pull away as much, you know, like Thank God for the gate that time. Here we go. Here we go. There we got him. We got him. Whew. I'm telling you, man, catch up is crazy. You do not want to be playing catch up in Titan. Could have taken that second rewind, but why not? Why? Why I gotta I can't I can't do it once and then slop, right? I'm trying to talk trash about the car. I'm trying to tell stories and let's 
Let's try to catch as little drift as possible on that turn. And as little drift as possible on this one. There we go. Downshift so we can catch our gear when we land. And we're through. So, like I was saying, this is the absolute best off-road vehicle. Well, this is the best buggy in the game. This is the class we're doing. This is the best buggy in the game. And that right there is just to let you know, there were some skill issues, but the car came through and I still managed to get a, a decent time. So what do you think? Thanks for tapping in. Peace. Oh, man.